Hello everyone, welcome back to Balatro. Today we're going to go after the have $400 or more unlock just while trying to achieve a win in general. And you know what? When you want money, why not start with 10 extra dollars and see what we can do with that. Start with the small blind. We're going to want to earn as much money as we can by taking on as many hands as possible because every time we play every round we play is an opportunity for us to earn more money and what we probably want to do is finish hands in as few hands as possible by playing things like four of a kind because we get extra money for every spare hand at the end of each round and we get interest fortune teller or not discovered Base cards have a 1 in 3 chance to give $2 when played. Spawns your most used tarot or planet card, Venus. Okay, so it tells us what that is. That's interesting. Venus. Which is Venus? The planet. So it's probably not that interesting to me. So let's take this. And we're just going to have to be careful about what we play for score here. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 for a straight. And then we want to play as many face cards as possible to let the business card pay out. There you go, there's one. Let's try and play something else with face cards. All right, that is $27 and we are going after uh, what are we going after? We're going after 400, so we've got a ways to go. Planetarium Temperance gives the total sell value of all of your jokers. Well, we should probably invest in that now. We'll take hearts. Unlocks Planetarium once per round gives one of two planet cards to upgrade our levels. I think we're going to have to take that just for the longevity of trying to win. Must play fewer than five cards. Two pair or straight flush. Two pair, easy choice. Right, we must play fewer than five cards. So there's four for two pair. There's another four for another two pair. A lot of two pair to come, I imagine. Right, let's try and just fish for some face cards there's two pair four face cards get an extra two bucks plus one multi for every consecutive card played without a face card plus two for each even played card so we could go after even hearts cards or flushes and we can make heart flushes this is not a great start Ugh, I'd rather just play a diamond flush really not a diamond in the bunch still just a massive lack of diamonds getting silly Right, finally. Thankfully, that gets us most of what we need. We'll play some face cards here, try and earn some more money. Got to remember, we want even cards now. Add, most, add the cost of the most expensive joker owned to the multiplier. Sure thing. Level up straight flush, no thanks. Straights or straight flushes, give me straights. So one of these is worth five, giving this more money. This is worth a sell value of eight. We want that to be as high as possible down the line. Just play two pair. Two 
some money and some hearts. There's some more hearts and three even cards. Some obscure piece of poker trivia is telling me that there used to be a hand that you could play that was 246810 as a valid hand in like ye olde poker days. At least in some variant or another. I wonder if that's a secret. Probably not. Uh, level up two pair. Sure. All diamond cards are debuffed. That's fine. Pair or full house. I'll take the full house. Let's just throw these diamonds. Not enough spades for a flush, not enough cards for a straight. Oh, this is just annoying. All right, give me the hearts because they're worth more to me if we can play them. Just had to do a sanity check on not playing diamonds. Good. Getting our max interest now. We want to find the voucher that lets that increase. Fortune teller, wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune could increase the value of one of our jokers for the swashbuckler effect. Oh, hello. So this is now worth 50 chips to us. So our cur this is now worth nine. So this is giving us more value. I will certainly take that. This is worth $10 to us when we sell it, but we can fill in the joker slot with something else eventually. But we are just building up our investment in hearts. Right, I will happily just play trip fours to start. Then aces and queens throughout the deuce. Nice and easy. Ten more bucks. Aces are better. Face cards are better. Not discovered. Minus one ante. Our ante is three of ten right now. We buy this. We've gone down to two of ten on the ante. So I assume we're just going to get to keep the length of our run going longer for that. Four of a kind or two pair. We take two pair. Obviously, by reducing our ante, it means that we now have more chances to earn money to get to our 400 limit or our 400 goal. Let's see here. We got the cards we needed for our straight. We play the king for the business card. getting through the scoring nice and easily at the moment. Planet cards appear more, not what we need. Extra large blind at 3200 is not something for us to worry about. Right, let's play a pair of sevens. Keep the big Broadway cards, keep the hearts. We're going to discard these looking for extra hearts now. Very nice. This nine times multiplier over here is doing great work for us at the moment. So hearts, even cards. Oh, raise the cap on interest earned to $10. Absolutely. Seven for a straight or half joker for plus 15 multiplier. Let's take the half joker for now. And then if we can play more three of a kinds, fine by me. Especially even ones. 
10 interest. Add the number of times a poker hand has been played to your multi or spawn a random joker. If you look at our poker hands, we've played two pair six times. Straights four times. It's pretty even at the moment. But at some point, we probably need to get rid of Temperance. And Judgment would spawn in a random tarot if we do. So let's use Temperance. Gets us 11 bucks. Let's buy a random... Oh, wait. Raise the cap on interest earned per round to $20. Yes. Redeem that immediately. Then spawn a random Joker card. Plus seven multi if hand contains a flush. We don't want flushes to work with half Joker, so we'll buy Supernova. And we'll make this work while we rack up interest. Okay. Give me any three or five, please. Or king. I'm going to start to have regrets, aren't I? Right, play. A pair of kings with a heart. Then play queen high. Yeah, that'll do it. So our interest is currently five dollars because that's ten percent of fifty. Once we get up there, we're going to have a great old time. Things can double in hand ability if it triggers twice. No thanks. All heart cards are debuffed is going to be a bit of a problem. Let's upgrade high card. Right, let's play nines and eights. That's most of what we need, really. Then we'll just play a pair of kings. That's $14. One interest per $5, max 20. Okay, so it's 14 we got back for that. That's going lovely. Clubs, four of a kinds, more tarot. Just keep this ball rolling while we're earning a bunch of money. Three of a kind every time right now. Queen high. Still worth just about 2,000 chips to us. Uh, let's do ace, deuce, three, four, five because we have the extra hearts in there. Good. So that's nearly capping out now at 20 a go. It will do. After um, this round. Three card shops slots available in shop. Four of a kinds. Ace deuce five. Ace deuce tray five eight. Let's buy that because we're still going to get max interest. Straight flush or straight. I'll take the straight. Man, getting three of a kind feels harder than it should be. Doesn't it? Still, when we do get it, what's that worth to us? 4,000, good to know. Got all that money. Uh, unlocks tower reading, absolutely. We can get more hearts going or something similar. Um, Multis contain three of a kind. It's good for us. We can get rid of this business card now. Only play one type of hand this round. 
Select cards into diamonds, select cards into clubs. Neither of those are hearts. Do I even want to change anything right now? Right now we have a standard distribution. We could move spades into diamonds, I guess. Three of a kind, every time. Right, we can play one type of hand here. Three of a kind would seem best. However, this is a terrible start to try and achieve it. Ah, there you go. We'll start with three of a kind fives then. Hope this goes well for us. All right, we just need three of a kind once more. So now we are just fishing for nines. The other option might have been to play high card several times. Not sure how that would have played out for us, but this has worked just quite nicely. All that extra money. Then what do we want? Saturn, level up straights. Uh, spawns Venus. No, so spawns Uranus. Which one's Uranus? Collection. Planets and Tarot. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Two pair. I'm fine, thanks. Keep this train ride going. Spawns up to three random planet or tarots or changes something into a stone card. I mean, we've not discovered this yet, so we probably should. Uh, we're building hearts and diamonds. Do we have a spade to give up? We can go at the six of spades. You are now a stone card. Four of a kind or full house. Take the full house, I guess. So we still want to play three card hands. We can try and hoard for flushes as well, because heart flushes are no bad thing. Or we could play aces and jacks to play something. Ah, oh, this is not going great. Alright. Three of a kind jacks. An okay start. A pair of tens. Keeps things going nicely. Thank you for my interest. Trigger card in hand abilities two times. Holographic. Times five multi, or plus five multi rather. All right, this is seven on three of a kind. This is five always. This is multiplier to our most expensive card. This is worth 11. So if we sell this and buy this, this is also worth more. And we want the times five multi to be on the far right hand side. Cool. Big blind. Remove three cards or cards for 20 extra chips. We're removing spades and clubs. Not the best. 20 extra chips. Stick it on those two. Straight some flushes. I'll take the flush. All right, so the stone card, plus 50 chips, no rank or suit. So what we really want is a pair and a stone card. I think. If we do tens and this, how does that play? Pretty well, it seems. Pretty well. Fours. 
has a heart and is even. Are we worried about evens? We are worried about evens for now. Aces has a heart. Okay, we're getting kind of to that mid game where there's a chance if I'm not paying enough attention, something could go really wrong. When stone cards are played, permanently give it plus 10 chips. That is interesting. Reroll boss blind once per ante. I'll take that. What would I get rid of to make my stones bigger? Well, this makes it trigger twice as well. So, possibly... Get rid of our even Steven for this. All face cards are debuffed. I think we can handle that. 20 extra chips will remove up to three cards. Let's put some extra chips on some hearts. Flush or three of a kind. We go three of a kind every time right now. Well, this is trash. Do I just play the straight? I don't think I do. I think I just throw this. Right, we have a wheel for ace, deuce, three, four, five. That does have three hearts in it. And extra chips. Right. We could fish for another nine for trips. Or we could play this and it would go up from 50 chips to 60 chips, right? That's another 5,000. I would love to find another three if I've not played it yet. We could play tens with a heart and extra chips. All right, we're very close. I think this will get us a thousand chips. But we are getting closer and closer to that point where we may not succeed. We are at exactly $200, so that is exactly halfway to our goal of 400. Planet cards have a one in three chance to spawn a tarot card. I don't have room for that. I'll take this to get more foils and stuff. 15,000 copies or spawns a random joker. I don't have anything to really get rid of for that. It'd be nice if I could spawn it and then it would have set it would have seven of six slots filled and then you have to get rid of one before you can proceed. Um Supernova is probably doing a lot of work on trips especially. Pair 13, three of a kind, only six. But yeah, I guess we're paying one pair and a third card a lot, aren't we? You're 11. You're making my stone bigger. Let's give up on the stone getting bigger. Another business card, huh? Not super strong. Right. Throw these, look for trips. Find it. Throw these, look for trips. Do not find it. G 
Jax plus the stone card. And then just a pair of tens. Two hundred and sixteen. Oh, hello, hello, bootstraps. Plus one multi for every five dollars you have. Plus one tarot if you play two. Right, we have to get rid of something for a plus forty multi. Is that right? Two sixteen divided by five. Ten for fifty. Forty. Forty three at the moment. I think we could drop actually we could drop business card couldn't we of course we could uh, planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop no thanks and something holographic or enhance one card into a wild card let's gamble big nope four of a kind or a straight Okay, so, eight with a heart, plus 42 multi. That's going to go well for us, I feel. Nines with a heart should be about the same. 8,000, 7,000. Right, I'd love to find a deuce. So every time we get max interest, we increase our multiplier by four. Enhances one card into a steel card. Enhances one card into a gold card. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. Planet cards have a chance to spawn other stuff. I mean, grab is too good not to take. These we would need room for. So, next round we go. Discards one random card per hand played. Converts three cards to spades. I'm not interested in spades right now, thanks. And a wheel of fortune. No luck. Straight flush or pair. Give me the pair. Right. Discards one random card for every hand that we play. And let's just start with this. Then trip tens is lovely. And then we just need a pair and the stone card, I think. Aces with an ace of hearts is nice. A clean crisp 15,000. There's all the money. 255. Glass cards, 10 multi, straights, card discounts. We'll just carry on. Small blind. Cards to hearts, cards to diamonds. We want more cards to diamonds. Not that we're playing flushes very often, but eventually it might help us out. Okay, fives, throw the nine. Eights, throw the queen. I kept thinking we were going to get cards discarded, but of course we're not fighting that boss anymore. Threes, throw the five. And of course, every time we play a pair, Supernova gets one better for us. Trip aces, why not? That'll do it. Times three on final hand, times two multiplier. Polychrome, that's very good. That's got to be better than something we have.
So this is plus five multi. This is like 40 multi. 15, plus 15 multiply when three or fewer cards are played. Add 11 or plus two for each heart, but it's foil, so 50 chips. Let's get rid of Swashbuckler then. We will take the Acrobat foil. Polychrome. On to the next one. Uh, a lucky card or more diamonds. Let's take more diamonds. Spade. We just have the regular... We have regular hearts. If we get to 30 diamonds, we get an unlock with that. So... Let's just do this. Venus, three of a kind, or pair. I'll take the three of a kind. Loads of diamonds to work with now. But I'm still going to work with our extra 15 multiplier just playing pairs. Three of a kind of the same suit. Good scoring. And a pair of kings. What I really need at this stage is to get rid of this lusty joker for hearts and find the equivalent for diamonds, right? But for now, I'm going to keep working up. Play only one hand. Oh, God. But this is 3x on the final hand of the round, so that will be in play immediately. We'll have our discards. What hand would we really want to play? Like three of a kind or a really good pair? Or we can re-roll it. Oh, I don't like this decision. Let's take... Let's count our blessings. Let's take the devil we know. Remove three cards. Disable the effect of the boss blind. Right. We now get to play five cards. Or five hands, rather. 30,000 points to score. Away we go. This is 3x on the final hand, but 2x on every other hand that is played. So if we're ever holding three of a kind, we should consider holding that three of a kind until the last hand we play. $321. Back to the small blind. Double money for max of 25 or convert cards to clubs. I'll take the free $25, thanks. More Venus for three of a kind. A pair of aces with a heart. 20,000. Pair of jacks with a heart. Uh, how about trip nines? This is worth 69x now, which is lovely. Could even say that it's nice. What is this? Not discovered. Plus 50 chips. One in three chance to duplicate tarot cards purchased from the shop. Sorry, today is not your day. Remove three cards. Convert three cards to clubs. Uh, we could remove some baby hearts or something. Or some spades. If you remove the base card spades it's going to be harder to make pairs in face cards moves up to three selected cards I can remove a six and a deuce there is no six of spades so it's harder to make pairs of sixes in the first place Thank you. 
We really need to change this lusty joker over to something better suited for our needs. But there goes Trip Jacks. 42,000. Pair of eights. And just a pair of aces to finish. Very nice. We are three dollars short of getting a finish there. Upgrade tower reading to once give four cards. So at the start of each round now, uh, all hands start with a one multi. I think we'll be fine. We got four to pick from. Justice, one glass card, plus five. Lovers, turns a card into a wild card. A fool, disable the boss blind effect. Let's just get rid of this then. Three of a kind or straight, three of a kind every time. Give me a pair of fours and a stone card. That's almost half of what we need. Pair of fives. How many pairs have we played now? 32. We've played a pair. Pair of queens. And just a pair of eights. And with this earned money, we now have had more than $403. What I don't want to do is spend all of that money now. I don't know when that becomes kind of... Do we have to have 400 at the end of the run? I don't recall quite how that is explicitly going to work. Remove cards, copy, turn something into a steel card. All right, Ace of Diamonds, you're a steel card now. What hand do you want to be played in, though, is the big question. Uh, full house. I mean, it might happen. Pair of aces. I'm just really waiting to see what the boss blind is in anti-10 when we get there. Because that's basically, I think, going to be the difference maker on whether this is a win or a loss. Stones. Spades. Diamonds. Diamonds is what we want. So we're going to sell Lusty Joker here. We're going to buy Greedy Joker. Plus two multi for each card played with a diamond suit. Nothing major here. If there's a current value of all your jokers, converts three cards to clubs, increases the selected rank of three cards by one, or turns a card into a steel card. Uh, you're a steel card now, four of diamonds. Full house or straight, so I'll take the full house, thanks. Right, so we want to play pairs with diamonds in them now. And of course, all the money that we get over 400 is still contributing to bootstraps here being an 83x multiplier. Oh god, why are we not earning money as fast? Is it because I dropped out the 50 that we were getting from our joker? Am I going to regret that immensely? Oh dear. This is a 15 multiplier. This needs one more card to be a straight flash. Nine of diamonds or an ace of diamonds. I think we have multiple aces of diamonds in the deck. Okay, this is not ideal. 
if I kicked my teeth in right at the finish line. Fifteen thousand. We need to save something big for the last hand because we get a three times multi on final hand. So if we could play trip tens or something right at the end, that would be great. But that does mean I need something to play right now and we have no discards. play a Broadway straight and have no pair. That doesn't seem great either. Or we play one pair and hope to draw something. If we get a diamond, if we get any single diamond back, we could play a flush. We did one, two, three, four. No, this is four diamonds. I'm dumb. We do have nine, ten, jack, queen, king with two diamonds present. It'll be high scoring because this is worth 45 chips. Oh, no, this is worth 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 69 chips times all of our multipliers. Or we play a pair of fives. We've played a pair 41 times. We've played a straight six times. A pair would get 15 multiplier. I don't know. I could sit here with a calculator and try and do the math. We get 15 more, but this is like no chips at all is part of the problem. Like 10 chips. Whereas this is 60 chips. But I think we go with this. We can't play the 8 and the king. They're both diamonds, but we have, they're at the top and bottom end of the straight. 9, 10, jack, queen, king is the straight. I don't think this is going to be worth 85 grand to us. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we are 300, three grand short. I think it all changed when I went from diamonds to, from hearts to diamonds on our greed. But we've discovered all 21 tarot card. We get whatever this guy is. We have $400 or more. We get a satellite. A braided deck. Discover at least 130 items from your collection. Your most played hand starts at level 3. That's two pair at 92 instances. We played 300 face cards. We've unlocked this strange looking duality of fellow. Alright, so we continue to work on our collection. We've got more than half of the Joker cards unlocked now. Or discovered or unlocked. I'm not sure which way around that goes. We've got all four of these guys. Business card, swashbuckler. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.